Let's play Paper Mario Prologue Part Three, Goomba King. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Let's Play Paper Mario. I'm your host, Red Falcon Games. And in the last episode, we did some stuff. We got Goombario on our side as a partner in battle. And now let's head east towards Toad Town. We got a Skype, spiked, skyped. We got a spiked Goomba over here. Um, let's go ahead and take it out. We are still pretty low on um, on HP, so we're going to have to watch out for that. Um, I am a little bit worried because you're going to take two damage there and one here. We are in peril now. This is actually quite scary. Um, I've never really experienced this this early in the game, and if you didn't watch the last episode, it's because we tried to run away what three times and failed so we we took quite a beating I don't really want to use an item I can use a mushroom right now I don't really want to use one. Oh, there is one over here here's a close call badge when Mario's in danger enemies sometimes fail to attack I believe there's a heart block coming up guys so I wouldn't worry too much that we're not gonna lose in the prologue we're not gonna game over in the prologue it is okay eat a mushroom regain your energy so a little sign is gonna give us a free mushroom which is very nice here's a pair of Goomba it's clutch that we avoid this Yep, we did it. Okay, so here's a heart block. That was a little bit close. A little bit too close for comfort. Okay. So, what do we have for items? Um, Alright. I think we're all good. Let's, uh, let's continue on here. Hey, hold it right there. Yeah, you. You suspicious guy. Don't move. Huh? Ah, you're Mario. I knew it. You can't get past here, Mr. Big Shot. It's a direct order right from the Goomba King. That's right. I'm sorry, but the only way through is the Goomba Bros. That's me, Red Goomba, and my brother, Blue Goomba. Let's get him, Blue Goomba. Oh, yeah, let's do it, my red brother. Okay, yes, we are engaging in a mini boss battle. Thank God for that heart block just over there. These are the Goomba Bros, the Red Goomba, the older one. He actually has 7 HP and 1 attack power. And the other man has 6 HP and 1 attack power. So what we're going to do right off the bat here is use our Fire Flower that we picked up earlier. This is going to throw 3 attack power on each of them. So yeah, that's that's pretty helpful right now. Then we're going to use the Head Bonk on the Red Goomba. Because this one has 1 more HP than the other one. Kind of weird, but it's true. Mario, how do you like some of this? And he's going to hit us with one attack power, so it's really nothing to worry about. It's just that they have quite a bit of HP. Now what we're gonna, going to do is take turn power bouncing them. Power jumping, basically. That's what I meant to say. So three HP and you are done. Blue! Blue Goomba! Gah, my little brother! You'll pay for that, Mario! And then this head bonk is kind of a useless attack. Because this, we're going to whittle this guy down to two damage. He's going to give us one, and we are one power jump away from completing this mini boss battle. There you go. See you later, Red Goomba. Quite a bit of star points, too. 20 star points. So that is something else. Um, as you saw, the uh, blue Goomba bio there. Nothing really more to say about that battle. Yeah! I'll let you go for now. Okay. Just for now, huh? It wasn't a very tough battle, but we're going to get a thumbs up from Mario. And there's a save block over here if you want to go ahead and save. Um, I don't really care for doing that right now. Let's go ahead and go back and hit this heart block because there is going to be a boss battle coming up. I, I guess it's considered a mini boss battle. So if you're playing along, you're going to want to hit that heart block here. Let's, uh, I think we have everything all set. Let's go ahead and move on. This uh, mushroom block looks different than the other. It actually is an enemy. So you're going to watch out for that. Goomba King's Fortress ahead. So they said they were sent from the Goomba King. Let's see what that's all about. King Goomba, help us! Mario beat us up! Notice how, notice how I give a weaker voice to the blue Goomba. And we walk up, just like bosses. Hey, look, Mario, see that building over there? I'm pretty sure that's where, uh, that's there used to be a bridge on the other side. I wonder what happened to it. Uh-oh. Shaking, oh no, who could this be? Could it possibly be the Goomba King that we've heard so much about? He must be intimidating looking, huh? 
No, he is not. So, Mario, it's true. You made it this far, and I respect you for that. Unfortunately, this is as far as you'll ever get. Because I, the great and powerful King Goomba, will see it that you advance no farther. Isn't it further? I don't know. You hear that, Mario? No farther. Not one step. Are you scared, little man? Bah, you're scared, all right. You want to say you're sorry? Wow, that Goomba King is really huge. I'm sure he's no match for you, though, Mario. Let's get him. Ready to meet my wrath, Mario? You better be. Yes, it seems quite a bit intimidating that they're all attacking us, but have no fear, this isn't a very hard battle. Beat him up, King Goomba. We've got your back. Leave him to me. Everyone has a freaking text board, but I'm just going to ignore her for now. So basically, the little bio on the screen is telling you that Goomba King has 10 HP. Sorry, I had to have a drink of water there. My voice was going out. Basically, it gives you a chance to look at um, the little enemy bio there. Goomba King is not that hard. Basically, what we're going to want to do is hit this Goom Nut Tree. That's the most important thing. That's what people miss in this battle. You can actually go over to the left and hammer or head bonk this Goom Nut Tree. So let's do it. And a Goom Nut falls on all of them. That takes out the other two, so you don't have to worry about them. And just leaves the Goomba King. So you can just power jump. It's as simple as that. It's 3 HP. That's 6. He's going to kick us with a 1. And this is exactly how quick this battle is going to be. I'm sorry it's not longer so you don't get to listen to this awesome music, but that is going to be it for the Goomba King. And with that, we are going to level up. That is right, we're going to level up. Now, I believe we're going to go with FP here, make it 10. Because 5 FP is very little, let me tell you that. What? How could I lose? Oh, what happened? His text isn't all funky anymore. Yeah, I knew we could do it. Cool. Victory. Thumbs up. Okay. So, at this point, we're going to want to hit this tree and get a star piece. That's our third one. And uh, they're actually, I believe, what, 120? Or well, uh, upwards of 100 star pieces in the game. We'll be getting them all. Now, if we strike this switch, you basically got to find that in the bush. Oh, Mario. Good fight and all that, but I must warn you, however... If you happen to find a strange switch somewhere, you definitely not press it. It's dangerous, understand? You, you what? You already pressed it? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no! Wow, I, I called that. I said the same thing he did. Guess me and Gooba King are really alike, huh? Look at Mario's face right now. Mario's like, ah! <laughs> his, his animations are quite funny in this game. Basically, this is going to roll out something. Not the Goomba King. Just wait for it. Boing! There it is. There's a bridge. Just like Goombario was saying. And there goes Goomba King. Look, the bridge! Now we can cross it and continue on our journey. Alright. Yes, definitely sounds good. Let's do it. Crossing the bridge and all that good stuff. Now... I believe there is something over here. There's a hidden item of sorts. Um, I think it's jumping? No? Yep, over here. If you smash that, you can get a Super Shroom. Restores 10 HP, which is quite helpful at this point in the game. That's our entire HP bar. I don't think there's anything else right here for now. Let's continue on. Uh-oh, there's Kami Koopa. She's watching. Always watching, Wazowski. And we'll go ahead and save and continue. It's not quite, um, not quite time to end this uh, this little episode off. Let's see what Cam and Coop is doing. Going up to the King Bowser. Let's see what she says. More scripted cutscenes. Mighty King Bowser, I've been looking for to for you. I report your evilness. Mario defeated the Goomba King. He's headed for Toad Town now. What? Unbelievable! What was Goomba King thinking? I used the Star Rod to make him the king and he begged me. And Mario whips him so easily, what a wimp! Ah, uh, Kimmy Cooper, are you sure that Mario can never defeat us, right? Please, please, your violinist, try to calm down. 
or be calm. Sometimes I mix up the words. You guys gotta forgive me. It's just, it's just the spur of the moment thing. Goomba King is small time. I had a feeling he'd fail. It doesn't matter because why do you hold the star rod? You are definitely invincible. You could beat Mario with one claw tied behind your back. That's exactly what uh, Goombario said. In one hand tied behind his back. Yes, very good. Wahahaha. By the way, Kami Koopa, those star spirits we captured don't have any way of giving Mario their power, do they? Please, don't worry yourself. Each is held separately. And each is carefully guarded by your hand-picked subjects. Even Mario can't save the seven star spirits. Yep, this is a seven star spirits. We collect them by uh, the hand-picked guardians, which are bosses. Of course, boss battles in this game. Hmm. Who's the closest star spirit to Mario? It's that one at Koopa Bros Fortress, right? If Mario somehow reaches there, can the Koopa Bros defeat him? King Bowser, you mustn't worry. That's right. Hi, yeah. Here come the Koopa Bros. Uh huh. Oh yeah, we're the coolest of cool. Kami Koopa, are you sure these guys can get the job done? That Goomba King was gigantic, and even he couldn't beat Mario. Pshaw, get real, King Bowser. Yeah, the Goomba King was huge, but he was a total wimp Ola. We're nothing like him. See, what we've got going on is the power of teamwork. Together, we can put the hurt on Mario in seconds flat. Or the other way around, bro. Excellent. That's the spirit. Sell it, Koopa Bros. Show our king that's a special attack you do so well. Yes, ma'am. Ready, everybody? Oh, oh, that, that is, oh. Oh, God, this is weird. How'd you like it, King Bowser? How was it? Oh, yeah, excellent, really. Uh, I'm, I'm not easily, easily impressed either. Mario won't have a chance if you finish him with that attack. We'll take it, King Bowser. By the way, my Koopa Bros, about the captured star spirit I've locked up in your fortress. Who's guarding him right now? Uh, nobody, sir. You know, we're here, and so... You idiots! Use your head! Get back to the fortress and guard that star spirit! What do you do? So that was a fun little cutscene. Show us what is ahead in Paper Mario. Show us what we're gonna go for. Now we can drop down and get this sleepy sheep over here. Yep, it's a sleepy sheep. And it can make enemies asleep if you use it in battle. It's an item. It's a battle item. Now, if we go ahead and hammer this spring down, go down here, we can actually grab another badge, which is going to be the hammer throw badge. Yep, hammer throw. Hits one enemy with a hammer, no matter where the enemy is. So, like I said, you can't hammer enemies that are farther than other enemies. Now you can with the hammer throw. Now, before we enter Toad Town, I'm going to have to end this episode off. I'm sorry, guys, but we'll leave it short for now. Give this video a like or dislike rating, depending on whether you liked or disliked it. I just hammered that thing away. We'll bring it back. I'm Red Falcon Games. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next episode of Paper Mario. Have an awesome day, everyone.